Welcome to Atma and today we are learning about bit depth in Photoshop. Imagine that there is a color market inside your computer of all the colors it can produce on the screen. The name of the market is RGB Gamut Market and it has in stock all the colors in the form of crayons that you can see in front of you. But let's say you don't have the money to buy all the crayons because they are very expensive. Expensive in what sense? The vendor sells you colors in exchange of memory space or storage space inside your computer. So the more colors you use, the bigger the file size gonna be after you use those colors. So you ask your vendor to give you a smaller array of colors with which you can just get by and make your usual paintings. So the color vendor gives you this. A quick disclaimer though, in the real world, the computer is gonna give out the smaller sets of colors which will be spaced equally from the adjacent colors with regards to tonal values and not space per se. But suppose even now you couldn't afford this set of colors. So the vendor gives you an even smaller set. Since this set contains more colors from this color space, this is at a higher bit depth than this set which contains lesser number of colors from this color space. So this is at a lower bit depth. To sum it up, we have the RGB color space, the higher bit depth and the lower bit depth. Photoshop mainly offers three bit depths. They are 8 bits, 16 bits and 32 bits. Let's for the sake of the example consider this set to be 16 bits and the smaller set to be 8 bits. For the sake of example, 16 bits here has 19 colors and 8 bits here has 9 colors. But in the real world, 16 bits contains 281 trillion colors and 8 bits contains 16.8 million colors. So that's a huge number of colors we are talking about. But what does the term bits mean and how can they produce so many colors? To know that, we'll have to dive into the world of computers. Inside computers, every information is created or transmitted through electric signals. Every image you see, every sound you hear, every software you use on the computer are produced by these electric signals. The computer understands only two types of signals, when the wire is carrying a current and when the wire is not carrying a current. So in short, on and off. Inside the computing world, on is equal to 1 and off is equal to 0. This 1 and 0 make the binary number system the only numbers which the computer understands. A single wire is known as a bit and a bit produces colors with its 1 and 0 signals. But how? We have learned in a previous tutorial when we did RGB channel that an image on a screen is made up of a number of square pixels. And each pixel is made up of a combination of three lights, red, green and blue or in other words red channel green channel and the blue channel when we speak of bit depth in photoshop we essentially mean bits per channel or for ease of understanding wires per channel let's say you're working inside photoshop and you're working with 8 bits color palette or a bit depth of 8 bits it means 8 wires are involved in the production of the red light 8 wires for green light and 8 wires for the blue light well, the three lights can be lit in a multitude of brightness. I've shown only a few. When all the eight wires of the red channel are on, or in other words, all the eight wires send a one signal, the red light gets lit with a 100% brightness. And if all of the eight wires are off, or all of them are sending a zero signal, a red with no brightness is produced. If the eight wires send a signal in this order, this red is produced. In this way, 256 types of signals can be sent by these 8 wires to produce 256 shades of red. There is an easy formula to calculate the number of shades that will be produced by a certain number of wires. It is 2 to the power 8 which is equal to 256. 2 corresponds to the only two signals that can be sent through one wire or one bit and 8 corresponds to the number of bits or wires taken into consideration. Since we are dealing with 8 bits or 8 wires, we have 2 to the power 8. If we were dealing with 16 bits, we would have 2 to the power 16. And for 32 bits, we would have 2 to the power 32. So in Photoshop, 8 bits per channel bit depth would mean 256 shades of red, 256 shades of green, and 256 shades of blue. 
If we multiply them, it's going to give us 16.8 million colors. That's a lot of colors we are getting from 8 bits alone, which for 16 bits is 281 trillion colors. I hope you understand that we are getting this from 2 to the power 16. But after all this knowledge, you will be perhaps disappointed to know that you would hardly use anything more than 8 bits inside Photoshop. And the simple reason is there are millions and millions of colors inside 8 bits alone, what to say of 16 bits or 32 bits. Although our eyes will be able to perceive the colors, they won't be able to differentiate them. Take for example these three red boxes. On first look, all the three boxes appear to have the same red color, but they don't. The first box is made with a 255 brightness of red, zero brightness of green and zero brightness of blue. The second box is made with 250 red, 30 green and zero blue. The third box is made with 245 red, zero green and 20 blue. Nonetheless, I'll still try to show you the difference. I've created this gradient going from dark red to bright red. I've created this in 32 bits. Now let's change the bit depth to 8 bits to see if there is any color shift. For that, we'll have to go to Image, Mode and then 8 bits per channel. And by the way, for this tutorial, I'm using just 32 bits and 8 bits because there seems to be some glitch with 16 bits at this point. Just hit Don't Merge for now because this needs a separate tutorial why we are not merging. And also keep an eye over here to see the color shift. So 8 bits couldn't reproduce the colors of 32 bits over here. This brings us to the part where we'll be discussing the main reason why we should use anything more than 8 bits. So we have a gradient going from dark green to bright green and this is made in 8 bits color palette. I'll click on the adjustment icon. You don't need to pay your attention over these because these will have their own tutorials in other videos. This is just to show you what effect an extreme edit will have on an 8 bit image. So I'll select curves and I'll hold and bring this down until the image becomes totally dark. I'll edit this image further by adding another curves adjustment. This time I'll hold and bring the point to the left. You can see this banding in the image that has been caused due to this extreme editing. It's not that 8 bits cannot produce the colors and hence the banding. You can say that 8 bits lacks confidence and is unable to hold the three commands all at the same time. What are the three commands? Display the base color and then change its brightness twice like so. In the process of calculating the brightness and all of that, it has a sort of nervous breakdown and gives us a banding like so. But remember, it has the potential of the color palette to show a smooth color gradient even after the application of the adjustment layers. I'll show you what I mean in a bit. Let's use 32 bits and see if the bandings are removed or not. So I'll go up to Image, Mode and then 32 bits per channel. Let's hit Don't Merge. The banding is removed. So 32-bit can easily calculate these two commands on top of this base image and show a smooth gradient. Now these colors can be reproduced inside 8 bits. How do we do that? Remove the extra operation or calculation part. Of course, by removing I mean merging the adjustments into the image so there's nothing left for 8 bits to calculate. For that, I'll shift select the 3, then right click and then merge layers. Then I'll go to image mode and then 8 bits per channel. Hit don't merge. You can see the same smooth color gradient reproduced in 8 bits as well. And this is all I have for today. Make sure to check the other videos. I'll see you next time. Bye.